Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here, back with a brand new COD Mobile video. If you didn't see, we have a new update on the global version. So the new season most likely is happening tonight at the reset. So you can see events going dark. If you click, there's nothing though. Uh, if you click on the battle pass, still nothing. It says one day left. So most likely tonight at the reset, we will be getting the new battle pass. Now, as often, when we have a new update in the game, data miners are able to extract some stuff in the game files so today we have a bunch of leaks big shout out to data miners whole uh, we have all the lucky draws coming this season all the crates and all the bundles so guys there's a lot in today's video so let's go straight into it and before we start make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos so let's start with the lucky draws first we have five to look at the first one has been leaked already. I know it's not a surprise. Probably it's going to be the first one. It's a redux of the Cordite Zero G. So if you guys didn't get the Cordite Zero G, it's a legendary Cordite. The uh, kill effect is absolutely beautiful. I love that one. It's one of my favorite legendaries in the game. I don't use it much, but still. Uh, they changed the character. It used to be a Nikto, pretty sure. Now it's going to be the Spectre Spectral. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to buy a few, but I have the soldier, I have the gun, so maybe I'll go for the emote. There's a helicopter skin in there also, looking pretty dope. So let's go for the next one. Now that's the second one, and you can see a, a Chicom here, Chicom Chevalier, but it's not the legendary weapon. You can see the legendary weapon here. So it seems like they add new legendary weapons every lucky draw. There's an emote with a saber or katana or whatever, and the usual stuff, battle royale stuff. There's a soldier. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Let's go for the next one. Now, lucky draw number three looks to be our first ever legendary soldier. Now, I've seen some leaks on legendary soldiers. So that one's got a legendary soldier and a legendary weapon. Uh, could be the new pistol. I think it's got a new name. Some guys say it's the Desert Eagle. But I think it has a different name in this game like they do for other weapons. And uh, uh, seen some leaks. Um... Let me know if you guys think the legendary soldiers might have some perks or something. That would be pretty sick. It would actually be pay to win maybe. So we will see what the legendary soldiers do. And of course, hopefully we can get legendary soldiers for free. Because that would not be okay if paid players have an advantage in the game. And once again, another emote, another karambit and the regular stuff. Now, the next Lucky Draw has a very unique soldier. It looks like a huge armor. It looks super bulky. Uh, it's called Sentinel Recon Primal. And uh, you can see another legendary weapon, as always. Uh, there's a new combat axe skin and, and the usual stuff. Uh, here we see a legendary knife also. So I'm curious to see uh, what's up with the legendary knife. Are they going to have... Uh, different stats or something because that would change the game again like if they have different speed or a different range now that one will be the last lucky draw the merc combat rig it looks super futuristic and it looks like uh ak74u let me know in the comments aks legendary that could be could be wrong again guys uh and the soldier as always nothing special on that one another emote uh, looks like an EMP skin maybe also, so I don't know if we have, pretty sure we don't have any. So that's it for the lucky draws. Guys, we're going to check out the bundles because there's a bunch of bundles. You guys will like some of these. Now the bundles, as always, it's always going to depend on what the soldier is, if you have it or not, and what's the rest of the bundle. Sometimes uh, the prices are different. So it's a uh, Gravestone Elite PMC. It's been released already. I know I have it, so probably not going to go for that one. Uh, probably is going to be a cheap bundle when there's just a, a regular soldier like that. Now the next bundle, usually these are the cheap ones with all uncommon items. Uh, there's a vehicle skin and some stuff for Battle Royale. Not so excited for that one also. Now bundle number three, very interesting. And I hope these leaks are all going to release this season or the next two seasons. But we have Frank Woods, guys. That soldier has been uh, in the game files. Maybe not the exact same version, but we had a Frank Wood soldier in the game files since pre-release, okay? It never got released. Some guys had rumors around season three, season four, that soldier was supposed to be released. It never came out. So we might have Frank Woods for the first time ever, on global at least. So on top of the soldier, you get the picture, the avatar frame, an emote, and a bunch of 
stuff for battle royale, parachute, wingsuit, and all that. So usually when you buy these, it's just for the soldier. The extra stuff is just extra. Now the next one, Ruin, Boom Scroll already released also, I think in previous crates. I already have that one. Plus, I'm not so excited for that soldier. It's just a reskin, so I wouldn't pay too much for that. Now, next one, you know that soldier. It comes with the picture, the avatar. I got that one in crates. I got kind of lucky, didn't pay too much. But it's kind of frustrating, again, when you see these soldiers being re-released. Uh, another cheap bundle with uncommons. I guess some guys might like these bundles. They're usually super cheap, like two, three, or 500 cut points. I don't know for real, but it's cheap. You get a bunch of skins. If you like these, just go for it. I usually don't buy these. Now that one, probably a new DRH skin. If you like the DRH, called Noir, and it's all black. So kind of interesting. Looks like it comes with a crate. So it might be one of these special offers you buy for a couple dollars. You get some cut points, but uh, it's not clear. But there's a crate with that. Now that one, another new soldier called Rose Merc. And it's actually pretty cool if you guys like the style. Uh, it's going to come like the Frank Wood skin with a bundle. Uh, an emote and some other skins. Our next one's an Outrider Purple Prism. And it comes with all the Battle Royale gear. So cool, I guess, if you like these. Now that would be the last one is the Soap Hazmat. And another one that I bought in crates. Uh, yeah, I said what I had to say about these. If you like these soldiers, it's your chance to get them for cheaper. Usually crates. Crates, you never know how much you're going to pay. But the bundles, it's a fixed price. You're guaranteed to have it, but you have to wait until it's released. Well, that's it for the bundles. Now we're going to go with the crates. We got another FTL skin, second stage. First FTL we had, I think, was Season 2 or Season 3, probably Season 2. Uh, FTL was released in a battle pass. Now it's in a crate, different skin. And the rest of the crate, as always, there's always like a bunch of epics. Usually you have guaranteed epics until 60. Now, they added a new guaranteed epic at 90, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's okay because usually after 60, you had no guarantee. Now, crate number two, another cool soldier called Recon Flickering Shadow. Uh, again, you know I'm not a big fan of these bright colors. The soldier looks awesome, uh, but yeah, the bright colors, not a big fan. So if you guys like that, it's got all the gear also with the same kind of color, like neon green. So yeah, if it's your style, you're going to like that crate. Now next crate, I don't know what's going on. No soldier on that one. It's just a UL736 direct heat. So I don't know the deal with that crate. Maybe it's going to be a cheap crate like they do with vehicle skins. We will see, but not a big fan of that one for now. Now the next one looks like the new Going Dark crates. Maybe it's going to be called Going Dark 3 or something. But they changed the soldiers again. So we now, I think we now have six Going Dark soldiers. And you now see the ruin here going dark. So they're always black and orange. Usually they look pretty dope. I still don't have the Merc 5 guys, but it looks like the, the crates are going to change now. Now next crate, you're going to like that one. It's a new Gunzo. It says clown on the, the vest. The big eyes and the cap. It's looking pretty dope. But again, I guess it's going to have the, um, the same voice as the other Gunzo. If you guys like Gunzo, here's your second chance. Had a Gunzo skin and it's called Tactic Clown. Got lots of gear, pretty cool. Now, next crate is a set bonus crate. So, we don't know yet what the set bonus is gonna be, but if you get all items, you got a set bonus for having all three items active. Sometimes it's bonus XP, but sometimes it goes with ongoing or current events. So, sometimes you get bonus rewards for the ongoing event. So we will see when it released, but it might be something for an event. So we'll see. But it's uh, BK57. And again, BK57 is getting a buff this season. So it could be a pretty decent gun. The other two items are a pistol and a grenade. And the next one is another Seraph skin, Silver Bullet. Reminds me a bit of one we had in a previous season. I don't remember if it was a crate or a season pass. But we have a Seraph already that kind of looks like that with the cowboy hat. The long jacket. So interesting. Plus a bunch of other epics, doesn't say much. Now guys, that one's got two soldiers, and this one is another Gaz. Uh, it's the second skin. The first one was all black. Uh, that one's a bit more military style. It's got the, the big vest and the camel pants. So I like that one. Looks pretty dope. It's called Gaz Broadsword Nice Skin. 
Now that one looks like another vehicle crate and it's all vehicles plus a few battle rail items but you see uh, the battle rail vehicles the tank the motorcycle the boat it's got all that uh, and the rails also so there's a little extra a couple extras but mostly vehicles on that one you see the orv posh and now the last one guys charlie sinister a very cool soldier i must say and it's a uh, pretty slim so people like that usually there's another soldier in the crate, bunch of crap also as usual, but it looks like a cheaper crate maybe because there's only two or two epics. It could be a cheap crate. The soldier is very dope, but again, the odds might be tough to get. So guys, that's it already. A bunch of lucky draws, a bunch of bundles. I know the community will be excited for bundles and a lot of crates, guys. Looks like two per week and maybe more. So uh, we'll see if all of that is all gonna be released in the next four weeks or is it gonna be for the next eight weeks because that's a lot of stuff so if you guys buy everything prepare your wallet guys so that's it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the leaks and once again mega shout out to data miners hole for all the screenshots so you guys might want to check out his youtube channel i'm gonna post the link in the description thanks again for watching smash like if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one